Week 37 begins here at Ballet Park as United are home to Van Aldrick Town. Statistics for this one 2 5 9 overall, 2 3 7 skim. Second against Van Aldrick, I've just legged it up the stairs. <laughs> That's why I'm out of breath. One game losing streak, played them in friendly a few seasons back. With the 55th home win, could also be the 130th overall loss. 15th game in the 1920 season. Sixth in the Counties League. 37th football in 2019. And 93rd attendance for the year as a whole. Seven away from 100. 26 to equal last year. This game is United by Nordwick Town. Quarter to eight in dry weather. So half time Valley Park. So far so good. This game is United 1 by Nordwick Town. No. So full time in Valley Park. And good start to the week. Good start to the month as well. I think it's the first time we've won a game. On the same day as a player of the month award. Scams United 3, Barn Oldswick Town 0. No. So far, so good. I have a very busy week. So, we continue on a Thursday night because Sky chose to move this one. Otherwise, we'll have Mia tomorrow. And we'll miss the Scam game. Statistics for tonight 387 overall, 360 for Wigan, 23rd against Castleford. It is a one game winning streak early in the year. 12 wins, 10 losses. It is a record though. We get to 16 home games between Wigan and Castle with 11 wins out of 15. It is 175th Super League regular home game, regular game overall. 180th game between the DW and Robin Park. Probably the 110th overall loss, I hope not. Obviously the record of last week of 11 consecutive wins went. 57th Rugby League in 2019, which means one more game to equal last year, and that's going to easily happen. It's the 94th attendance in 2019 as a whole. Wigan Castlewood, final game of the regular season. So, half time, Wigan 4, Castlewood 2. So, as you can hear, full time at DW, Wigan Warriors 26, Cats Tigers 8. Also means to be back here next Friday, not next Thursday, to play whoever finishes third. Part of me does hope that is Warrington so I can get 30 against Warrington in before the end of the year. It's going to cost me though. Speaking of the week itself, because Wigan Castle with was tonight, it means it is Friday night football tomorrow. Skim against Windshaw Town at the FA Bars. It's back down this way on Saturday for Wigan against Warrington in the Academy semi final. And it's a first ever trip to Rushkin Park as I see St. Helens women against Wigan women. It is a milestone, my 100th Wigan game away from home officially. It's going to be an hard one, put it that way. But in terms of the week itself, that's two games and two comfortable wins. A full set of five would take some doing, but it's not impossible. Wigan 26, Castlewood 8. So we continue Friday night, first for me Friday night football. From the FA Vars against Witten Short Town. Statistics for this one 260 overall, 238 for Skem. First against Witten Short Town, who the 98 team we've seen Skem play. Could be three wins in a row. Second FA Vars tie for me after New Mills won a couple of weeks ago. 16th game in the 1920 season, 38th game football wise in 2019. 95 attendances between football and rugby for the year as a whole. Skem's United, Witten Short Town, quarter eight, kick off. So, half time, so far so good. Scammers United 1, a Wittenshaw Town 0, and it's a first ever goal for Luke Holden Moats. So, full time here at Valley Park, and I had the feeling it wouldn't be a perfect week considering what's coming on Sunday. But well, that's another cup and another exit, sadly. Scammers United 1, Wittenshaw Town 2. We move on now to another big game tomorrow because it's Wigan against Warrington in the under 19 semi final. Well, after last night's disappointment in the FA Vars, it's down Wigan way for the playoff semi-final on 19's level between Wigan and Warrington. So, for the first time in, I think, at least a year or so at least, it's an academy game we've paid for. RFL obviously doesn't think season tickets deserve to qualify for this, but, ah well, five pounds done. Statistics for this one today, 388 overall, 361 for Wigan. I think 400 overall games might be just too far this year. Is the 8th against the Warrington 19s, which is a very unique record. Because they're the only team we've seen five times or more we've never lost to. 
played seven, won seven. Could be the 110th overall loss, considering we went on an 11-game winning streak. That's been sitting there for a long time. It's the fifth 19th playoff semi-final. For whatever reason, we didn't do one last year. I don't know whether it went straight from league to final. I don't know. There's a record equaling 58th Rugby League game in 2019. Considering I got to 58 games with the grand final on the 13th of October, I think last year, we've got a full month to beat it, which will happen anyway tomorrow because the St. Helens Women Derby makes it 59 for the year. The 96th attendance sport wise overall, which means we're four short of 100. Pretty much guaranteed in September to get to the 100. 119 for the year might be a bit of a push, but we'll see anyway. So, Twigger against Warrington and a winner is in a grand final next week. Fingers crossed, it's on the Friday night, so I can go to it. So, I'll come Wigan, 18 minutes away from, I think, a 10th grand final in 11 years. I know I've been to everyone since 2014, and I've only seen them lose one of them, and that was St. Helens, sadly, away. So, it's a record that is a very unenviable one for Warrington to try and topple, put it that way. So, full time here at Robin Park Arena, full time Wigan 50, Warrington Wolves 22. Also means it's another grand final for Wigan, it's another Wigan Saints grand final. I think that'll be my third one. We've definitely done one at home, we've definitely done one away, which we lost. Also, some good news it means that it's a camp raising on Friday night, so it means that next week's Out and About is going to feature two Wigan games on the Friday. Maybe some football as well, but this week isn't over yet. <laughs> Robin Park Arena on a Saturday is never the be all and end all. It's a first ever visit to Ruskin Drive tomorrow to see the women's derby between St. Owens and Wigan. And it's also my 100th away game following Wigan. Let's hope it's a good one. But Wigan are in the game final for a second, well, fourth, fifth, <laughs> sixth in a row, I don't know. Can't remember the last time they didn't make it, put it that way. Well, because of the continuing poor service from Arriva, I know I should have got the early bus. My fault, I suppose. I arrived in St. Helens for a milestone game. And usually when we have a milestone game, something goes wrong. Obviously, the statistics are complete. later. With the women's derby. News of Skemway suggests that even though today, yet again, isn't going to be a Ruskin Park visit, is off to totally wicked. We may see St. Helens turn away this season, so I might say the fifth time of asking. Get to visit Ruskin Park. It might happen eventually. Well, a quick walk down from the bus station, and we're here at Totally Wicked. Statistics for this one are Caspi Breath. 389 overall, 362 for Wigan. Fifth against the Saints women, who are clearly in front of the video on the women's side. Two wins, two losses. It's a two game losing streak. The irony is, we won the first two we played against them. It is the third away, which means for the first time in a long time, we've actually seen a team away more than we've seen them at home. Two different venues, obviously, Tatawi from last year. It's the possible 110th overall loss, but that's been coming for a while. It is officially the 100th away game as a Wigan supporter under the season ticket bracket since 2011. Well, since 2013. 48 wins, 48 losses, and 3 draws. 13th Women's Super League game overall. 19th Women's game as a whole. 97th attendance for 2019 itself. And a record I didn't think I'd get anywhere near this year. 59th Rugby League game in 2019. It took until grand final day last year to get to 58. Last year, I didn't think I'd get even close. With a month to go, not only have we equaled 58, I've toppled it. So no matter what happens in 2019, it's the most rugby league attended year I've ever had in my life. St. Helens women, Wigan women, at two o'clock. Let's hope it's a little better than the last one. 
So, I'll come to team St. Helens women and Wigan Warriors women. As far as I know, St. Helens need a draw to secure a home playoff spot. Wigan need a point to secure a playoff spot, I think. Four points clear to Bradford, who are currently in fifth, and there's two games to go. So, a draw here to two, both teams, I suppose. Well, not the best afternoons. Half-time score of St. Helens 12, Wigan nil. Well, full time, and just like the last time we came here, we're going to have been 10 0. Last time it was 36 0 in the Challenge Cup, and this time it's 28 0. Wigan's women just obviously can't play at this stadium. I don't know what it is, they just seem to just completely fall apart. It's just a shame. So, that's two losses for the week. But, could have been worse. The St. Helens obviously a lot better this year, and I'll be honest. I can see it being them versus against Leeds or Castleford when we 